Hello, how are you today? I hope you're doing well. I am very excited to be reviewing this um, Enya ukulele for you today because um, I was very pleasantly surprised by this ukulele and I'm really excited to share this with you. Um, a little background, you may have seen my unboxing video. I actually won this ukulele in a contest um, that Ukulele Cheats holds every month. So I'll post a link to that in the description. Um, and I had no idea what I was going to be getting as the prize, and I was kind of hoping for a concert, and it is a concert, so that was exciting. And beyond that, um, when I unboxed it, I didn't really know too much about it. Um, so, I have since been playing it for about a week and a half, and um, have learned about it online, some of the specs, and I'm going to share all that with you today. So this is, um, I'll post a link to this in the description too, um, the, where you can get this on Amazon, but they call it an Enya OMS-02 model. Now, um, so I guess OMS is like their sister brand or their budget brand, I'm not sure, um, but it's, it's definitely Enya. It had Enya all over the packaging and all over the accessories, which I'll get into in a moment. Um, but in the actual ukulele from model number, it says MUS. Zero 02, but um, that is not anywhere on the description. On the description, they're calling it an OMS 02. Anyway, um, this ukulele sells for right currently in um, on July 31st, 2018, it is selling for $82.69 on Amazon. And um, typically, um, if I saw that price on a ukulele, um, not just a ukulele, but a ukulele bundle that comes with a bag and a bunch of accessories, I would think, um, okay, entry level uke, um, nothing special. It's kind of my um, impression just by the price. And um, there are so many ukuleles in this price range now, um, so many. And obviously I have not tried them all, um, just a few, but um, it's a hard market, but and it's a competitive market, which is good for us because that means that they have to be good to compete, to get people to buy them. Um, they have to be nice quality, and this one is. So, a um, little information that I saw on their website. Um, it is made of mahogany. Mahogany neck, top, sides, and back. Now, here's the thing. It says on the website that the top is solid mahogany and I found that hard to believe for $82 with all the accessories that they would be selling a ukulele with a solid top uh, because solid tops are usually more expensive and I I just couldn't believe that but on their website on the Amazon listing it was asked twice in the questions and both times the company came back and specified yes, solid mahogany top. Um, and here's the thing, it sounds like a solid wood instrument, um, which blows my mind. I'm gonna get into the sound again a little bit in a moment. But um, yeah, so all things as it's listed on the website and as it sounds, and I have tried to look at the side of the sound hole and see if the wood grain continues, and it appears to. So it appears to be a solid top mahogany um, ukulele. Now they have another model that is a koa, and they it says laminate koa, top, sides, backs. Um, and that one I think might even be a little bit more. It was out of stock when I looked at it the other day. Um, but this one is a solid top mahogany which is pretty amazing um it let's see what else the fingerboard and the bridge are made out of what they called um technology ebony or rich light r-i-c-h-l-i-t-e which is more environmental and stable um and it's also um it's ebony typically fretboards and bridges are made out of ebony or rosewood and those are going to be harder and harder to get and um, there's already restrictions on rosewood coming in and out of at least the u.s i don't know about other countries so um this may be more and more common to find alternative materials for fretboards and and the bridge um seems fine to me actually the fretboard and the bridge seem different. The, br the bridge almost looks um, like plasticky and the fretboard still looks wood. Um, but 
no complaints there. The sides, no sharp frets. Um, the, the tuners, um, they just say die cast tuners, but the tuners, I, um, I'm able to get a very precise tuning and the little pegs are like this, like rubbery material, which I kind of like. Um, so tuners are good. Um, it came with buttons, strap buttons. Very cool. Nice, nice touch there. Um, what else? I'm looking at my notes. <laughs> okay. Um, the uh, one thing I like about this ukulele is um, the rosette. That's not as very common to see that pattern or rosette, um, which I think is just really cute and I really like it. And I got a strap that I think kind of goes well with it. Um, I will talk about the strap that came with it in a moment. Um, so aesthetically, I really like this. I like the shape of the bridge. I think it it's kind of looks like Batman. Um, I like the rosette. I like the wood. Um, I like the logo. I think that's really cute. It looks like a little ukulele and a sunrise. And this is like carved into the wood. It's not a screen print, um, which I like also. So I just think it's a pretty little thing. I really do. Um, it does not have the side um, fret markers. No big deal. If you really need those, you can put them in with a white permanent marker. Um, but I do like having the side buttons. That, and the only other gripe um, with the ukulele itself is that the action is a little bit high, um, higher than I prefer. But that is um, fixable, not a big deal. I've already fixed it on one ukulele and I plan to on this one. All you need to do is loosen the strings, take out the saddle, sand it down a little bit, make sure you sand it evenly and not too much, put it back in, tighten it up, tie the strings back up and there you go. So um, that's not a big deal. But it is, I've been playing more and more, and um, it's more difficult to play down here because the action is a little bit high for my liking. Um, that is like the only criticism I have for the ukulele. Now let's go into the accessories, and then we'll come back to the ukulele and the sound of the ukulele. Um, the accessories. So, again, $82.69. Get you a solid wood um, top ukulele. And... This really nice gig bag. Um, it's got padding on the sides, front and back. It's got one strap, I prefer two, but no big deal. It's got the side handle. It's got an embroidered logo and um, a pocket with a little bit of depth to it. See, it's not just like the zipper where you have to slide things in. It's got a little bit of depth to it. Um, so overall, very nice serviceable gig bag. Um, better than a lot that I have seen. Um, now the accessories, those are a mixed bag. It's nice to get them, but, um, in my opinion, um, don't mess with them unless they're going to be, um, serviceable. <laughs> um, so let's start with the good. Um, it came with this tuner and, um, the tuner has been fine. I've been using it. It works great. Um, just a, a standard typical tuner. So that's good. That's something you definitely need when you're getting a ukulele, especially if it's your first one. Um, it came with um, the strap. The strap I'm not too fond of. It's literally like a piece of ribbon and mine is sewed wrong so you can't get it to lay flat. Um, it's, it's sewn wrong and put in wrong so you can't, I've tried, can't get it to lay flat. Um, but beyond that, it is the kind of strap that you wear around your neck and you hook it in the sound hole. But this ukulele has strap buttons. So it would have been nice to come with a strap that you could use um, that, you know, hook onto the strap buttons. I find that strange that they would include this kind of strap and strap buttons. It's kind of conflicting. Not a big deal, um, but the, the strap I'm never gonna use. Um, it came with a capo. And the capo, again, I'm never going to use because it is plastic. And the first time I put it on, the only time I put it on, it like felt like it was going to break. It made this big creaking noise, and I'm pretty sure it's it it about to break. So capo, um, I mean, I guess you could use it if you don't have one um, and try it out. But 
Um, I don't think it's going to last very long. It is a ukulele capo, though. Sometimes they include a guitar size capo, which is way too big. Um, so it is a, the right size. It's just pretty chintzy and cheap. Um, it came with two picks, two different widths, which is fine. Um, but I never use a pick with a ukulele, so um, um, it's unnecessary in my opinion. It came with this little finger shaker which you put on your hand and yeah and yeah haha and you um get a little percussion which is nice nice little accessory it I don't think it's very loud might be sounding louder now because it's close to the microphone but it's really it's not that loud but it's cute um it came with an extra set of strings. Um, the strings, they say on the website, are polymer carbon fiber strings by Enya. Um, and I don't know if it's the strings or the uke that are giving it the sound. Probably a combination of both, but I really like the sound. So I'm glad to have the extra set of strings, um, personally. Um, and then, it, oh, I don't have, I couldn't find it, but it also came with a polishing cloth, which came in handy when my baritone over there um, had like a smudge on it, like right here, like this dark smudge from playing, I guess. And I was really sad because it was like, I had only had it for like one day and I got that polishing cloth and it wiped right off. So um, polishing cloth, nice touch. So those are all the accessories. All those accessories, the bag and the ukulele, $82. Um, I, of those accessories, I mean, just the strings, the cloth, the tuner um, are ones that I would be using. But the other ones, I mean, it doesn't hurt to put it in. Um, but again, the things you really need, if it's your first ukulele ever, you need a tuner, you've got one. You need a bag, you've got one. Um, you need a good ukulele, that sounds great. And this one does. So, sorry, it took me so long to get to the best part, but this one sounds so good. I really like it. Um, that's the sound right there. It's got a really clear, bright tone. And it, to me, it's got this little like sparkle in the sound, um, which I also think uh, my Amahi Solid Koa tenor has. Um, and just the solid wood um, instruments have a little more depth, to, I think, to the sound. The, the, some of the laminate woods are just like a thinner sound. Um, this, this one has more complexity. Um, and I just think it's really pretty. Really, really pretty. So I'm going to play a little bit for you and shut up for a moment so you can hear. Um, sustain too. It's got a really long sustain and it's really resonant. I mean, it's just beautiful. I really love the sound. So my overall, um, my overall message about this ukulele is don't be fooled by the price. You may look at the price and say, oh, I'm looking for a more serious instrument and move on. Um, this is it guys. It not only is it beautiful, um, and comes with a bunch of cool stuff. It sounds really nice. Um, I just really am enjoying it. In fact, I feel a little bit like I'm cheating on sunshine. Um, just to give you a little comparison, here's my other concert. And this one is about the same price point. It's an Oscar Schmidt, all laminate mahogany. And I'll play a little bit of that. Um, just to, these are Aquila strings.
that they have different strings and I'm really curious how this one would sound with the Enya strings and I may try that but I just I don't think it's going to get the sparkle just out of the stri strings. I think it has to do with that solid um, mahogany top. Um, the thing I love about Sunshine here is that the action is perfect. She's so easy to play. Um, and she was my first uke. Okay, this is an overview on uh, on Sunshine, but um, so that it is a comparison so you can hear the two different sounds. Um, so overall, I've got to tell you guys, if you are have not bought a ukulele and you need one, um, I you can't go wrong with this. I think it sounds amazing. I can't believe it's $82. I really can't, especially with this really super nice gig bag and tuner and strings and all of that other stuff. Um, and solid wood mahogany. I just, I can't believe it. It sounds, it, I just. I just love the sound. Hopefully it translates well on video. it this is a very fun ukulele worth every single penny and more and um, I think you can buy this without fear on the internet and you would be very happy so um, let me know if you have any questions thank you so much Enya for um, sponsoring ukulele cheats challenge and sending me this as my prize I'm very very happy um, and I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you soon Bye-bye.